Hey everyone, and welcome back to this epic video where we build a huge forge area in Malingfell. Now, I won't spoil too much, let's just jump straight onto the video, let's get going. All right, so today's video is all about a forge. Now, I'm not talking about some small little village forge or even the forge that we have in Barvio Keep, as you can see here. I'm talking about a massive forge with a lot of detail, a monumental structure, and some great lore. Now, this idea came from the community, and more specifically, I believe it was Darth Cat, if I'm not mistaken. And the idea was to make an even more epic version of the Sky Forge from the Elder Scrolls uh, Skyrim. I mean, you know, everyone knows Skyrim. It's a great game. It's a wonderful game. And everyone kind of knows Sky Forge because it's one of the coolest areas in the beginning of the game right as long as you follow the main storyline but anyways i digress now i figured i would give it a shot because i've never worked on something like this before and i already have an arrow to the knee so i don't really have much to lose here so even though i was a little nervous about this build i couldn't be happier with the results because it is breathtaking in my opinion now of course i do have a disclaimer the main dragon head part of the statue so like the neck and the head was not designed by myself I copied it from a builder named Master Majesty, and you can find his channel in the description below. Now, he's a pretty talented builder, and the video was pretty straightforward and to the point. It's one of the best tutorial videos I've ever seen. So definitely, if you want to, go subscribe to him, check out his channel, see what else he has to offer if you are interested. Now, everything else in this video was built by myself, including the Wings of the Dragon, which resembles the Skyrim Dragon logo as a callback to one of my most favorite games of all time, and obviously one of the most popular games of all times. I'm sure a lot of you love Skyrim as well. You've played it in one version out of the 10, and you know I'm sure we can all agree it's just a great game. Now, I'm super proud of this build, so I really hope you enjoy it, and I hope you see how cool it can be. So. Uh, as always, if you like the content, all that good stuff, please feel free to subscribe, like, comment, because that's a pretty cool thing to do. Now, that's pretty much it. That's my spell. Let me put on some music. I'll meet you again for the walkthrough, and let's get to this. So here we are under the new and improved Great Life Tree. Lots of detail here, lots of cool stuff. I showed it on the stream a little bit more the other day, but there it is. Love it, really cool. But this is kind of the older sections of Malenfell. There's the newer sections over here. These are the original, this is pretty much where I started. But we're gonna go up the path here and I'm going to show y'all the forge. Now, if you have a really cool name for it, by all means, put it in the comments. I will put that uh, in the official lore. But as you can see right here, we got we got some cool stuff going on okay there we go the smoke was not moving it was kind of irritating me so i had to fix that but we have the path going down and it is next to the great feasting hall now this is not the great hall uh that we're also going to build later on but as you can see here we have this really cool stone outline so it has the build up here we have an inner layer of wall right here and then we have the outer layer of wall 
right here. I just think it comes together really well. We have a little bit of decorations, things like that. But we're going to go up this walkway here that's all made out of stone, carved pretty much from this mountainous area. And right off the bat, we're going to come up here, and you're going to see just some storage areas. I, I tried to throw in as much detail as possible. We have braziers and stuff like that, grindstones, all that cool stuff. Now, if you go in here, of course, we have some armor, we have some tools, we have some weapons, some leather works. Now, this forge master, essentially, so he's a blacksmith, he's... He's a leather worker like he can pretty much do all tricks of the trade and I wanted to showcase that in the details here but just like always like you can sit here and you know use the grindstone on your weapons and improve them get a little bit of a buff here but this is the forge and like I said I just <laughs> I absolutely love the way that it came out I think it looks so cool so epic and we got lots of detail we have the you know we have the bellow here um we have the tools hanging up obviously water multiple anvils things like that but i want to show you all this real quick so this block right here is actually uh sulfur it's like a sulfur pit block so in order to make this work the way that i really wanted to i had to use lava because i wanted it to be like it is scorching hot all the time no matter what there's always just like an infinite source of this heat coming up from the mountain um, and then I wanted the sulfur to kind of show like parts of it being molten and stuff like that because let's be honest The basic lava texture is not that great. So I had to fix that up and make it cool But yeah, this is this is a dragon which we'll get more to in just a moment But look right here. You have you can see all of Malenfell like it's it's absolutely just so amazing to see this forge up here on the hill with this vantage point and of course right down here we have like some rocks from them building it and then we also have uh, this area here where it is like they're practicing archery and things like that so you know like I said this blacksmith and he, he doesn't just do the basics he does a little bit of everything and pretty much because he does everything he is well established in the area everyone knows who he is he has maybe one or two apprentices at a time but he mainly tries to do the work himself so let's go up a little bit and I want to show you all so once again the neck of the dragon in the head is not for me but it looks really cool now the smoke for this does go up and it goes through here through the neck okay and supposedly comes out there i know it's a little bit of a stretch it's not really how smoke works but i wanted it to go like that i thought it looked really cool and then of course we have the wings which are triple layered and having a lot more of a like conquest block texture especially on the front here you can see i have some details that I've moved up and made a little pointy and it's all symmetrical and everything like that so that's pretty much that and I mean if you look at this from a grand scale yeah it's a little larger than life but I think it looks really really cool it definitely fits this theme and yes we use lots of stone and things like that but part of the lore is going to be um the dwarves that you know once again are kind of pushed underground not very very common anymore but they did help Malenfeld get a start they helped this forge master and and this blacksmith be able to hone in his trade and now he's one of the most well respected in the entire continent so that is pretty much that um yeah that's that's it so once again just like always thank you so much for watching this video i really do appreciate it uh hope you enjoyed it i really thought it was cool and look i'm floating um, I really enjoyed it. Like I said, I thought it was really cool. So if you did too, like I said, definitely let me know what you'd like to see before. But this is, of course, a legendary purpose signing off. I hope all of you have a great day and happy gaming.